hi guys so we're done for today we went on a boat cruise only kivu and we got back home at about 7 p.m first of all it was a four hours drive from kigali to lake kivu to the south side of lake kivu and um we had a boat cruise and we drove all the way back again four hours back to kigali so when we got to the kivu we were supposed to like swim watch the dancing cows and all of that right but the fun part is we 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 got prepared we wore our dresses like for a boat cruise from the hotel and then when we got to the resort where we're supposed to take like the boats down on um on the lake kivu to ride on lake kivu right we wore life jackets thinking we we're supposed to change afterwards to swim but then again the water was so deep guys you know you guys needed to see this water definitely i don't know how to say but it's so clean definitely you guys saw it in the highlights you know it was awesome it's so clean it's blue very like the water doesn't have smell unlike the regular ones we have in lagos nigeria we were not able to swim because none of us can swim right and from my last vlog um going to america you guys can see that i almost drowned i didn't drown per se but i was like literally scared that i was going to drown because you know how water is and the water that i entered on the lady bed lake in the usa was 40 feet deep it was a risk that i took not because i didn't know that water is scary not because i wasn't scared but because i knew that i had floater on because we are always assured that once you have a floater on when you bounce into water it brings you back up right guess what i really didn't drown in the usa right but then i was scared and then again I'm like, I'm not so sure that I want to go through that experience again. I mean, I experienced it and afterwards, even though I was feeling scared at the time, I began to want to get into water once again. Like, I began to have not this feeling of getting into water once again. But then on the second thought, I'm like, hey, you have to think it again. So I always feel that when people are around me, I tend to fidget and feel a little bit more scared to do what I think I wanted to do. So anytime I want to take a certain risk, no matter what risk at all, I don't tell anybody. I know myself. I know that if I had gotten into the water, I would have the best fun. You know, I wanted to have contents in water and all of that. And the life jacket that they gave to us, guys, it was so solid, like so, so solid. It was, you needed to see me in it. I was puffy from the videos, you can tell. But then again, I had fun and I watched the swimming cows. To be very honest, on the list of tours, it is called swimming cows. I was anticipating to see like cows swim from, you know, swim inside water, like a 40, 50, 60 or 80 feet deep water or something, right? But guess what? These cows weren't, weren't really like swimming. They were walking. I literally feel they were walking because they are like huge and the parts um of the lake where the cows were supposed to do the swimming supposed swimming was a little bit more shallow which i myself would have stood there but then again it was still fun to watch it i mean i've never seen it in my life and it's fun so from my own experience i would say if you guys want to come on a tour here in kigali i feel you should um you should feel excited because kigali is the neatest place in africa the neatest city you guys no cap i've been hearing this i've read about it i just wanted to witness it for myself i'm like how neat is this country going to be that everyone on earth talks about it okay there were even people like white people who came all the way from the usa who flew in on the same on board the same aircraft as i did and they were here to visit the wonders of Kigali, you know. And it was awesome. It was worth it more than what's the hype. I mean, they don't hype the city enough. That's what I feel. 
another good thing about kigali is the fact that their weather is so good you guys their weather is good i've never seen any african country that is not as hot as nigeria because when i went to kenya right kenya was beautiful neat reserved i wouldn't say as neat as kigali obviously not but the weather was awesome it's more like um it's sunny but then it's cold at the same time and the sun doesn't scotch your skin so you're not tanning you're not drying out but your skin just remains so calm and properly moisturized like i mean you must use your moisturizers over here because that's one good thing that i trust myself for i always try to stay hydrated and moisturized so yes you need that take a lot of water and stay moisturized so lest i forget i was gonna say the apartment where i'm staying right um i forgot to let you guys know that they do not use air conditions and i thought it was just this apartment i had to ask but then in between i had to go to a friend's apartment and she said the same thing in fact she literally left her apartment just because there was no ac in the room so she had to go to like a hotel she had to check into a hotel so she'll be able to use air condition but then even without ac they use fans if you can see the fan over there I barely turn that fan on even right now i'm shooting a video but the weather is very calm i'm not using the fan because i'm not even feeling hot like that's how cute their weather is especially in the evenings and at night it gets really cold you have to cover yourself up and gear up you know real good but to be honest guys i hope with these few points of mine i have been able to convince you and not confuse you that you should put kigali on your to-do on your tours list because kigali is the best place to go on a honeymoon vacation go with your lover go on a date go to rejuvenate um go on a girl's trip go with family go with siblings you know i mean it's just it's just cute this is a very calm reserved city and it's i would say there's it is just awesome you guys i have nothing else to say but you need to make sure you come to kigali right now i feel like i'm i might visit kigali again i might visit kigali over and over again like that's how much i love kigali right now i came out to come and have fun with these girls and they are forcing me to cook it's quite interesting. Apples. Why people will stay with me in this kitchen? No. This one. We just did, baby. <laughs> we, you guys, eh? Please don't go on a girl's trip with a pregnant woman because, Lord, what we are seeing here is not a joke. Eh? We literally have to take more care of mother and take care of child at the same time. Okay, that's the flavor you want. Okay, you guys, let's get into it. First time with a girl. Okay, baby. Hi. Hi. Oh, thank you very much. So breakfast is ready. Ah! God forbid. <laughs> I'm tired. My, these girls are tired of me. Oh, I but. Can, can I want my milk now? No, 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 no. Uh, just hold on. You really understand. This. You know we have to deal with every day of our life. This drug Why belongs you to. Hi guys, so today is um, beauty and resting day for us, rejuvenation from all the adventures and the stress of the trip. Honestly, we don't see it as stress, it's more like exercising but at some point your body just wants a little bit of TLC. So today I would call it the pool day and I'll also be making a tour of my hotel. Uh, my uh, my hotel apartment 
so um i haven't had a lot of time to like go around the apartment to show you guys what it really looks like but today i'm going to try to make a couple of videos so you guys can understand and see how serene this environment looks okay so we're going to the pool and this is basically what i look like going to the pool and the girls will be some of the girls will be putting on bikinis i may not record some of that unless they give me the permission to and i'm hoping that they do and if not no nope, then um when we get to the pool i would most definitely make videos and a couple of pictures for the gram i'm thinking if i should repack my hair or just let it down you know let it soak into water you know i don't know yet but let's see how it goes i just need to put on my coverall right now and head out it's a little bit very sunny we're going to have our spray um sunscreen on and we would have to reapply it so most definitely i'm going down there with my sunscreen again yeah so this is my hotel the part of the apartment where i'm staying this is like the luxury section where they have like a couple of rooms and a palo and then on this other side is just um a hotel apartment i think it's mixed actually and so we are going to the back where they have the pool so to be very honest the weather is beautiful the weather is so so beautiful it's the best weather for a pool adventure you guys need to be here This is our YouTube channel. Why are you coming towards the side? <laughs> like to put the life jacket right under. Okay, okay, I'm doing it. The determination is key. You got it! Yay! <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. I don't know this one. Okay, wow. I think so. He did this video for me now. Wow, that's good. That's good. Shark Nello. Oh. Shark Nello, baby shark. Oh. Are you mommy shark? Oh. Before you pour all the water. <laughs> baby ah. shark. Oh. Baby shark. Oh. I don't understand it. Oh. So hopefully when I get back to Lagos, I need to get 
um swimming classes because with the charade you guys just watched today i really need to do better but the good thing is i was able to pick one or two from um the class that i had today even though it was less than two hours but at least i was able to know like the basic rules on how to stay afloat when in water right but i haven't been able to get my balance so i just feel that when i get back i really need to go for proper classes spend a couple of days and weeks you can't learn swimming in a day obviously not but i was able to learn something today now i am back into my room and i have had my shower and we need to do dinner now i would be cooking i don't know most likely i'm going to be making noodles and um i'll be making beef noodles beef noodles which we saw to um which we saw in one of the supermarkets i haven't seen that i haven't tasted it back in nigeria so i'm going to be trying it for the first time and then i also have um chicken breasts pie um marinated chicken breast that i also bought the other day from the supermarket and also some gizzards that i'll be using to make the beef noodles so hopefully it tastes nice and if it does i would definitely buy a few more to take back to nigeria so let me go try it guys i'll let you guys know how it comes up okay okay you guys so this is what the noodle look like it says ladhaya mbompe ladhaya mbompe so I don't know what that means, but uh, it says beef flavored instant noodles. And this is what I'm going to be making. That's how these hungry girls did not allow me to finish making the video for you guys. Eh? How is it? Yeah. Okay. At least you guys are enjoying it. Okay. Let me have mine. So, it's made with gizzard. This is my gizzard. Okay, we want to see movies now. We're done. We had early dinner, so I want to make popcorns tonight. So we'll be popping some corns to watch movies too. So I'm just going to do them one after the other. You can't pop together inside. Uh, it needs space. Oh, yeah. So the popcorn is ready. So the popcorn is ready. Now it's movie time. Morning guys. So I'm having hot chocolate and orange juice and um, scrambled eggs. One toasted bread and sausages with a few veggies. And then this is dessert. And then there are fruits as well. Hi guys, so I am heading to the market with ID. So we are going to source for um, souvenirs at their local market and um, also a few pieces of artwork. Hopefully we see something really nice but you guys know that I cannot go to a country without getting souvenirs especially something that actually reminds me of the country so I am trying to see what their local market looks like right now and at the same time see what i can get and take back home with me okay okay so those guys they are pretending to go with you in the market mm -hmm. they say they, they can help you but you don't don't use them. Okay. The people, the people who sell it, they are speaking English, they speak mm -hmm. English too. Okay. Nothing else. Okay. And then you say in the market, yeah, yeah, you can negotiate a bit. Okay. If you say this price, you can come a bit down, whatever, whatever, until you see. Where is the market? Mm, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. 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 
Okay guys, so we are already in the marketplace and there's nothing different in Africa. Wait a minute, is here? Okay. This is like a mini market. Um, nothing too much is going on here, but I heard it's affordable. So rather than going to like their big popular markets that we could get missing like Balogo and spend so much time it's best we just come here and pick the specific things that we want yeah if you're from Lagos I yeah like you. yeah I'm from Lagos and Nigeria <laughs> yeah I'm from Nigeria thank you from Nigeria is very nice thank you girl they don't chop Niger money for this country <laughs> Okay, you guys come with me into the market, please. This is the, you see all this market, all of this one, this is for that you want. Can you have to tell me to take around here? Mm -hmm. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey. Hey. Hello. 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 We don't buy yen, so we need to go to FedEx now to go change our items. Okay, let's go. Yeah, so we're ready to leave Rwanda now. I must say thank you to Rwanda because it was awesome being here, and I'm going to miss their weather most especially. It's quite unfortunate I wasn't able to test their local dishes which is something that i love to do each time that i travel but this time around it was a little bit different because i didn't travel alone and then everyone had different things that we wanted to do together do you understand so it was a little bit difficult to kind of um, divide and do your own you know unique stuff so yeah that's part of the things that come with girl strip ignore the fact that i'm panting let me catch my breath, please. Okay, so I don't know why I was panting initially, but I think I just needed to catch my breath and then take a little water. So we're leaving right now, Rwanda right now, and um, our luggages are packed, fully packed, and we won't be going straight to Nigeria at the moment. We still have to do a touchdown in Kenya because um, we want to do a, a mini, you know, tour like um wildlife sea animals giraffe and all of that right i've been to rwanda sometime in 2021 i didn't make a video i still have videos from back then i think i would be creating a different um vlog for my kenya trip and i'm going to just merge it i don't know how that's going to play out but let's say i'm going to take you guys on that tour on the next video okay i will take you guys on the next tour to kenya even though i'm going to be bringing back videos from my 2021 trip to kenya because i wouldn't be doing so much this time around i didn't plan to go to kenya but because the girls really wanted to go to kenya i had to get the visa as well and then we would just have a few you know a few tours in kenya and then um I'll just try my possible best to make as much videos as I can and if I don't I'm going to be merging because already this video is seeming longer than it should and I don't want to bore you guys so I will take it on to the next vlog so you guys should please stay tuned Peace. so we're set to we're headed to the airport Okay, guys. Bye, Rwanda.